In less than six weeks, Republican voters will pick their candidate to take on Governor Tom Wolf. There are three Republicans running, and the name calling between two of them is escalating. Political editor John Delano has more. It's pretty hard to miss the negative attacks two Republican gubernatorial candidates have launched against each other in television ads. Grady Wagner sued an 84-year-old woman who didn't want his garbage service. Deadbeat Dad Wagner hauled into court. Phony Paul Mango is at it again. Another ad lying about Scott Wagner's record. No real Republican support Mango. Pittsburgh business consultant Paul Mango and your you. county state senator Scott Wagner are engaged in an increasingly personal attack, and it has some Republican leaders worried. I would urge both sides to just stick to the issues. Val DiGiorgio, chairman of the state Republican Party, which endorsed Wagner, wants Mango to pull his ad and urges all candidates... Be substantive and tell what your vision is for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. But so far, it's not clear who's listening. How low can liberal Paul Mango go? His new ads, disgusting lies. In a new ad this weekend, Wagner goes after Mango. Conservatives oppose Paul Mango because he's a phony. Mango's a leading advocate for Obamacare. His company helped outsource jobs to India and Mexico. Which only guarantees that Mango will step up his attacks. Deadbeat Dad Wagner hauled into court in order to pay 800000 in back alimony and child support. And coming soon, violent Wagner. You just assaulted me. Republicans do have a third choice. Pittsburgh attorney Laura Ellsworth. This race to the bottom is such a disservice to the voters of Pennsylvania. They do not want to listen to two guys talking about each other with cartoons. Ellsworth says she's sticking to issues, not personal attacks. There's so much talk in this race about leadership, and there is only one person who is demonstrating that leadership in this race, and it is not one of those two guys. Mm. All right, so about these allegations, John. Yeah. Is uh, Scott Wagner a deadbeat dad? Well, Kenley, you know, let's remind everyone first right off the bat that it's perfectly okay in the United States, unlike a standard commercial, for candidates to lie in their political ads, and many of them do. As for these charges, I looked at the court records in this a very contentious divorce that Scott Wagner had nearly a decade ago. A judge found that he understated his income, so upped his alimony and child support ordering him to pay $800,000 over the next seven years. But I found nothing that indicates that he's missed any of those payments. Wow. Okay, what about Mango, the claims that he outsourced jobs to India yep. and Mexico? Yeah, you know, he worked, Mango worked for a company, he was a consultant in a company that did recommend outsourcing to some clients. But the Mango campaign insists that Mango himself never, ever recommended that. And I have not found as yet any evidence that he did. Primary election is uh, May 15th. May 15th, less than six weeks away. Thank you, John. Interesting. Thank you.